Welcome, this is Zon with Repro Products. Today's video is on Bluebeam Review 2018 and how to use the document compare and overlay features of the software. Here I am in Bluebeam Review 2018. If you have standard, CAD, or extreme, you can go to document and choose compare document or overlay pages. If you have the extreme version, which is what I am running now, you can use the batch feature to batch multiple files. So I'll start with the compare documents. Command is located here. Start the command. You'll get a batch compare documents window that opens up. Add the files and folders that you need. So we will head over to sample compare documents. We'll pick the original folder set that has a bunch of PDF files that were sent to me say on Monday. I can tell the software to then compare them to the revised set of documents that I received two hours ago. I can set up matching different ma ways if I need to. I can load a different batch process or I can save this batch process for future use. I'll click match pages and it'll open up this batch compare documents window that lists the files it's comparing. So for example, the one on the left is comparing to the one on the right. You can remove if you need to remove files. You can click advanced and get into the different aspects of uh, comparing in regards to the grid size, the pixel density, things like that, even the color system. You obviously need to specify where you want to put the files. So for now, I'll put them in my temp folder so I can delete them later. Clicking OK will start the process. And depending on how many files you have asked it to compare, uh, will dictate you know how long it takes. There's going to be tons of data on the PDF files. Um, and you know your machine, depending on how fast it is, it'll take a while. Here, I only have six pages, so it's fairly quick. I can tell the software to also create a report in different formats and go to the settings of that um, PDF report. You can give it a name and a location, as you can see here. Clicking OK will run that process, and you're done. You have a batch summary window here. If I click the current page link, it'll display my current file. <clears throat> if I click revise page, you can see the revised document. And then if you go back to batch summary and click the comparison document file, you'll see the color and clouded areas that have changed. So let's say I split the screen so I can see multiple documents at one time. I'll select the revised document here. I'll close the other files on this side that I don't need to see. And so on the left hand side I can see the new comparison file that's color and clouded and on the right hand side you can see the changes um, and what's happened. Okay, I also have synchronized pages turned on down here, and that's why as I pan and zoom, both sheets adjust their views so you can see what's happening. And that is document compare. Now let's take a look at overlay pages. The functionality is the same, the command location is roughly the same, and the difference, however, is that it colors and displays in color the differences for each file. So again, I'll head over to the batch. I head over to overlay pages. I am presented with the same window. Again, adding the files and folders that I need. So in this case, I'll head over to the temp folder. I'll head over to my document overlay set. I'll pick the original folder that has the original PDF files that were sent to me, say, last week. And then I can add the folders and files coming from the revised set that was given to me yes yesterday. Again, you have the same situation. Do your matching that you need. Specify all the options that you need and click OK. It'll run through its process and when it's finished, it's going to give you a new file that lists, um, just like before with a batch summary report. It's going to list the revised page. It's going to list the current page and it's going to list the overlay document that it created. So if we look at the overlay document and zoom in, you can see where some areas are green and some areas are red. The green is coming from the first file. 
the red is coming from the second file. And wherever you see black, like for example here, that means the data has not changed. So it's a good way to kind of visually see in color what has or hasn't changed. Uh, my preference actually is to use the overlay documents, uh, not to use the overlay documents, but to use the compare documents feature because it really colors and clouds the areas of difference and it's a little bit more visually um, definitive for me to use. But um, that's a quick video tutorial on Bluebeam Reviews, uh, Batch Document Compare, and Overlay Pages. Thank you very much for watching.